Jan Jaroslav Lehovets' writing as Jan Jaroslav Fischer was a Czech writer of adventure fiction. He was born in 1883 in Prague and was the director of a girls' school in Brzovice. He published westerns and detective stories under the name R. H. Rubel and also wrote about Christian mysticism. He died in Prague in 1966. We will review his 1919 fantastic novellas. Dr. Sada concerns a strange doctor who keeps vivisecting cats and then cutting up their eyeballs. When his neighbor climbs into his bathroom to find out what is going on in Sardak's closed apartment at night, he sees the doctor making love with a woman, both their bodies emitting a strange radiance from their skin thanks to rainbow-colored fluid taken from the eyes of dead cats. The medium has a doctor summoned to help a poor student, who is also a medium, his body bent over in trance and ready to snap. Then, when being present for a seance, the student is possessed by a female demon who tells the doctor about an old woman dying in a neighboring apartment of vampire ripping her heart out and she does die. In The Dead Visitor, a dead Russian comes to visit his friend to tell him he was wrong about there not being a soul and then leaves. An unusual case has a hunchback abduct a doctor to try and force him to transplant some talent stolen from an opera singer into the hunchback's daughter's brain. A feast concerns Gretti and Maglen being invited to a dinner by his senile old uncle on the one-year anniversary of the death of his uncle's wife Arna, whom Gretzian loved. Then the old man insists the dead woman will join them and she does. Grazian goes to make love to her, and wakes up to her gone and his uncle beating himself to death with a candlestick. In the Opium Eater, Garrick is visiting a concert of Beethoven when he sees a woman in the street who lures him into a dark carriage and brings her to a house with bricked up windows, and has two stripping Persian dancers entertain him to make him ignore giant sarcophagus in the middle of the room. He doesn't, and when he opens it, a headless mummy falls out. The woman tells Garrick to ignore it, but then the headless mummy starts getting up. He tries to run out and winds up inside the carriage with a wooden crate containing the cut-up bodies of the Persian dancers. Fakir Birgi has the Fakir taken to a temple in Bombay and is witness to the resurrection of a hundred-year-old dead body in order to recite their creed, before the Fakir himself is killed in order to be revived a century later. Some time later, Lord Macdonald, a pompous British colonial official, is entertaining his guests and talking about the time he pilfered a mummy from a temple in Bombay. So an Indian prince rubs the dead man's head and he stands up and leaves. The stolen remains of St. Lucifer concerns the city of Cagliari in Sardinia, where Carmelita Contarini is getting married, bearing a special robe given to her by her great-grandfather, the Marquis Contarini. A man who looks like a walking corpse, yet whom no one suspects when his great-granddaughters keep dying on their wedding day, with bloody marks on their neck. A year after Carmelita is also found dead, her younger sister Armida is to be married, and then she alone is found alive with the corpse of a vampire centenarian progenitor, whom she killed with the stolen blood of St. Lucifer of Cagliari. Magnolia Blossom has a Frenchman in Japan fall in love with the woman Komatsu, but then one night he is found by her husband and forced by his sheer force of will to cut off her breast while she was bound and still alive. Fatum concerns a painter who is killed by one of his models because despite being given a direct vision of the future, he is unable to keep away from mysterious dark rooms. 